I'm Antonieta Collins with your ESPN headline. New internal NCAA emails made public are revealing some of the conversations NCAA officials share leading up to the Penn State sanctions. For more on this, we're joined by Josh Moyer, who covers Penn State for ESPN. Josh, what exactly did the emails reveal? Well, with, you know, there's seven pages of, of emails, and while they, they don't reveal all that much in terms of giving us an overall view, they really do share a, quite an intimate glimpse of how the NCAA operates. And, and with that, you know, we, we kind of learned that the, the sanctions levied against Penn State in 2012, the unprecedented sanctions, really were, were kind of a bluff by the NCAA. They knew they didn't necessarily have the authority to do this, but they hoped, and, and I quote, that the school is, quote, so embarrassed they won't do anything. So, so they were kind of hoping that, you know, while the, the, the pressure was on Penn State, that they would able they would be able to, to levy these sanctions, $60 million fine, uh, four-year postseason ban, you know, without getting much of uh, a, a fight from Penn State. And, and that ended up, that was uh, exactly what happened. All right, Josh, so these emails are out there for everyone to see. What happens next? Well, uh, I talked to the uh, state senator who, who filed this lawsuit to begin with, and you know, he said there are certainly you know, quite a few other emails he'd, he'd like to share. So it's not just the $60 million fund that he's fighting against now, it's the entire consent decree. So, so really, we could see the NCAA having to release a lot more emails. We could get a much more intimate look of really what happened, uh, you know, in the days leading up to uh, July 23rd, 2012, when the sanctions did come. So if, if things had as, as Jay Corman, as the state senator, would like, you know, who knows where we might be. They might have to repeal something. Um, you know, I certainly wonder about the vacation of wins for Penn State from 1998 to 2012. And this could just be the start of what progressively becomes a, a much larger story. As you mentioned, a case far from over. Once again, Josh Mori, who covers Penn State for ESPN with the Insight. For more on the story, make sure to keep it logged right here on ESPN.com.